Hello, just realised I'm standing here without my apron on. Whatever, I will soak without my apron. Um, just thought I would um, show you my setup before I pour everything together because, as I would say a lot, <clears throat> a lot of people don't watch all my videos. So, so this is my hard oils that I've just melted down in the microwave. Um, I have melted it in 30 second increments so I've only melted it until it's just melted so it's not really really hot like it's, the, the bowl's only just warm. This is my um, soft oils which were in the fridge so they're really cold and they will help bring the temperature down of these. This is my lye that I batch once every month or so and I make about <clears throat> 20 of them. This is my um, goat's milk with um, kale and clay in it which is why it looks kind of weird and has lumps in it because it's got mud in the bottom and yeah and that's and that's how I do room temperature soap because this this will bring down the temperature of what's just been in the microwave to a room temperature and yeah and it's just easy that way I don't have to wait for everything to cool down and blah 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 so yeah all right those who watch all my videos just ignore this <laughs> It's just, it's the lazy man's way of soaping. <laughs> and if there's a lazy way to do something, I know what it is. It's not, I mean, they say work smarter, not harder. So, you know, if, if I have an idea for a soap and I can just go straight away and make it rather than waiting, you know, three hours for everything to cool down, then why not, you know? Right. But yeah, it's all pretty simple. I um, you know what? I'm not going to strain it today because I'm being lazy. So this is always my favourite part. <laughs> I love pouring goat's milk into oil. It's just that weird thing. I like it. I'm weird, but so now I'm going to take this out because. It doesn't ever do anything now, but we're going to mix the goat's milk into the oil. And today I'm doing coconut mango. And I have it on, <coughs> excuse me, I have it on good authority that it goes black. So. I have prepared for that and I'm doing a very very plain soap today with some pretty little flowers on top because I'm all about the, the molded soap toppers at the moment I don't want to call them embeds <laughs> because I don't like embeds They're not. I mean, they don't. They they kind of are, I guess, but they're kind of not. They don't um, sit up off the soap. They're a decorative element. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this, I would have put white in it in what I'm going to pour off, but I don't have any titanium dioxide, so I cannot. I have to put it in water. So I'm just going to pour a bit of this off before I put the fragrance in, so I can use this as a um, as a drop swirl. Because, like I said, I'm just doing something really simple. Because I know for a fact. Well, I suppose I don't. I don't know for a fact. I've been told by someone who has absolutely no reason to lie that this soap goes really, really dark. So, ah, uh, this fragrance. I mean, oh, but it's nice. I must say, I'm not a fan of coconut because it tends to smell fake in, in the um, fragrance oils. But this coconut mango is actually quite nice. I think it will do really well. It's so liquid. It's very good. Unless it's going to change. 
like really clean. It's not bad. It's tracing a little bit, but. really much at all so I'm going to hope that it does otherwise I'm going to have the most boring soap on the planet all right it has it's thickening now I can see it thickening as I'm talking so so it definitely does thicken all right I'm just going to pretend that these are two different colors <laughs> They're two different thicknesses, that's for sure. Right, it's a little ricey, not much, just a little bit. It's just, it's another one of these fabulously shiny soaps. Oops. <laughs> What do I always say? It's a surprise I don't do that all the time. And yet I say it all the time, so maybe I do do it all the time and just don't realise. I saw some bubbles popping up as I was pouring that in, so... <laughs> there we go. Messy, messy. Eh, it's soap, it'll clean up. <laughs> Who cares if it's messy? Me, apparently. Oh. <coughs> Alright. Now, I might just put just a little bit more of this on top. Because I've still got a fair bit left, so. Alright. Well. It's not a, it's really not a bad smell. I think it's more, it's probably more mango than coconut. Which I mean, it's, yeah, it's not a bad thing, but I'm not a big fan of mango, so. But it's not like, sometimes you get that, like that overly ripe mango smell, which, ugh. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's definitely not a, not a bad, um, not a bad fragrance. I would definitely do this in melts. I think it'd be <clears throat> somewhat popular in melts. So I'll have to get some more and give it a go. Whoop! <laughs> it's a bit slippery. Oh, that's slippery. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Right, I'll just wipe that one out. Just wipe it up. See that, kids? My finger did not fall off because I touched raw soap. Just always intrigues me why people get so bent out of shape about touching raw soap. You know, it's just like... It's not going to burn your skin off or, you know, make your limbs fall off or anything. <clears throat> I don't like that at all. Nope, don't like it. It's boring. Let's do a textured top. Instead, I haven't done a textured top for a while. It's still got a bit of movement to it. <clears throat> Excuse the clearing of the throat, this happens sometimes and there's nothing I can do about it. Alrighty. 
If I go back and do that on the ridges, that gives it just a little bit extra. Well, no, I've screwed that up. <laughs> To make somewhere to put some flowers. Yeah, I've really wrecked this one, haven't I? I don't, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. It's like I've forgotten how to do textured tops, almost. How's that? Do a little something something on these as well and I'll put one flower on each of these. They can just go on the bench I guess. <laughs> It's definitely changing colours, I can see that. Um, you can see, see this is the one, I don't know if I can get in the right light. You can, no, it's almost hard, impossible to see. It's definitely changed, it's gotten darker, I can see it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll keep doing it. I need to give these hands a good wipe. Get out my little flowers. My tiny little flowers. I, imagine, I can't imagine this is even remotely interesting for you guys to watch. I need to buy myself a pair of whatever those things are called, tweezers. Because it would be so much easier if I had a set to do this. Where's that spoon? Oh, it's all yucky now. Just <laughs> so it's just my hope that if this soap goes really dark, then these pure white flowers will look really pretty sitting on the top. That was what I was thinking anyway, so. And I didn't want to force the darkness of the soap because I just wanted to see if it would go really dark. <clears throat> Alright. One little flower on each of these. I do like the white flowers. I could see myself using the white flowers a lot. Out of all the colours that I've done so far, I think I've done pink, red, yellow, blue, purple. The white is definitely my favourite. Funnily enough. I don't know, they're just pretty. And I'm really learning how to um, get the right consistency for the soap dough now. So these ones sort of turned out better because I could get the, the soap dough thinner and it wasn't as sticky so it was ro it rolled out really nicely. This is the cutest flower, it doesn't look like any of the others, I accidentally did it wrong and then tried to redo it and then it turned out, I don't know, it's probably too blurry uh, yeah, too, oh and there's no autofocus so you're not going to see it anyway it's a really cute flower but it doesn't match any of the others um, I only have like two left I'll have to make more and I didn't make a lot of white soap uh, white soap dough so I'll have to make some more there we go alright well hopefully it's definitely darkened hopefully It'll be even darker when we come back and cut it. And you guys can see how much it's darkened. Alright. We'll see you for the cutting. Oh, my God. Eh. There we 
go. Camera. <laughs> All right. Bye. Just wanted to do a little quick update. This is currently gelling, and I just wanted to show you the color, so you can see what it looks like as it's gelling. I mean, if you I don't want to, but. If you touch it, you can feel it and the heat coming off. It's incredible. But I just want to show you that. I don't think it will stay that dark. But, yeah, just wanted to show you what it looked like. Hi. Oh, my God. It's one you can't hear. You probably hear them cats chowing down over there. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, this is a lot darker than it was. Um, I did have a spot of the normal soap with no scent in it and I left that on there on purpose so you can have a look and see the difference see that it's a big difference so yeah it's a little soft I should be doing that I'm putting dints in the side of it um, I was just really keen to cut it see what it looks like so but yeah you can tell just from how white the flowers look on top it's like butter it's definitely still too hot to cut <laughs> doesn't matter um yeah you're not gonna be able to see much of i can just see can you see it it's like almost just like a little ghost swirl it's there but it's minimal it should be interesting if this it should darken up even more once this gets air to it and you should be able to see it a bit more but um yeah it'd be interesting to see how much darker this soap goes I don't know if it's going to go a lot darker to be honest but um yeah and the spots that's just they happen from for some reason from the wire cutter I don't know why it produces spots like that but you can see now that the spots are gone it's weird isn't it I mean, there's got to be some sort of technical reason for that. There's a scientific explanation for everything. If you look hard enough. <sighs> yeah, ties a real faint ghost swirl. So she, oh. <laughs> I'm not a fan now of the scent. It's gone back to that... Um, that it's, it's hard. It's, it kind of smells like clag glue. Yeah, it actually smells like clag glue, which is what a lot of the coconuts, they've got that real chemical smell. I don't like it. It seems to have lost all the mango. Or completely. Mmm. Well, we'll give it a couple of days anyway, because it's still, you know, it's fresh soap. So it will smell different once it's been out in the air for a while as well. So, but, you yeah, know, it definitely smells like clag glue. Kind of reminds me of, kind of makes me a little hungry. Because <laughs> we used to eat it at school. Well, I used to eat it. But I'm weird, so you know. I bet I'm not the only glue eater. Oh. Alrighty, that's it. I'll, um, I'll post a pic at the end of this when it's done its four week cure. And we'll see if it's any darker. Alright, bye.